Hello and welcome to another episode on Hooked on Life by Three. Today we are fishing at Maipalonga. We've got the rods in, one's got worms on the left, worms, and on the right is just corn. And we've thrown some bread out into the water for burley. So we've just got here, see so how we go. So just getting a few bites on the on the worms. Fishing here today with Jet, so he's keen to go. So we'll try and get one hooked up for him. Hopefully he comes back. Yep, here he goes. He's on. Here you go, mate. Here you go, mate. You're on. We'll just take the bell off. All right, I'll get the net. Just take your time, wind him in. Carp, isn't it? Yep. Oh, he's a good one. Just keep him away from that other rod. That's it. Got him. Well done, mate. Oh, big one. That's a good size, isn't it? Yeah. He's hooked. hooked. Oh, I was about to say <laughs> he's hooked nicely in the lip and he spat the hook. We'll just bring him up here and have a look and put him back in the rod holder there. Yeah. Good size. Okay, Jet's going to measure him. Good Tell us what he what he measures. About 43. 43. Nice start. Let's get that rod back into the water. On the, on the left hand right again, same on the worms, had another bite. Hopefully it comes back on, so then we can catch it. It was a good bite, wasn't it? Here we go, here he comes. Missed it. Where is it? Back on. Is that you? <laughs> Was that, that's the other one's going now. They're both going. Might be a double hookup. Yes. No. I forgot the rod holders, so we're just using the back of my trolley. So if one goes, it probably looks like both are going. We'll just see if they come back. If not, we'll have to check our bait. We're just setting up the yabby net. Carp tail. Another beautiful day besides the Murray River. Houseboats, ski boats, shacks. 
Massive bite on Jet's rod. Get one in up, mate. Let me get rid of that. Oh no. Sorry, mate. Yeah, try and keep him away from that rod. Yeah, he's going across that one. Take your time. Get this out of the way. Oh, I think you got him. Oh, that's a callop. That's a callop. I reckon. You've got a big callop on there, I reckon, Jet. Just, just don't panic. Don't panic. Let him sit there. I'll get the net. Yep. Okay. Okay. Bring him back up. Ooh. Yes. Oh, it's a silver perch. Wow. Silver perch. They're protected. So we've got to get him back into the water. We'll just take him over. Bring him over here. That's a big one. Sure. Caught one of them for a while. Yeah. Pretty sure they're protected. We're not going to take any risks. We're going to get him back in the water. These are big fats. Silver perch. We'll get him back in the water, get him swimming. Is he 43? 43 again. Let's get him back in the water. Good work. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm pretty sure that just got a monster bite here. I'll get the He's on. Fish on. The rod is buckling. It's not a big rod. It feels different. It feels. I'd say it's a carp again because it had corn on the end. I changed it to a combo. Yeah. Um, Worm and corn combo. So it'd be a carp, but geez, it's giving me grief. Yeah, that's yeah, it's definitely a carp. We can see it. Can you do the net? Just got to scoop it up, mate. Don't fall in. Good boy. Well done. That's it. Now we'll walk him over to the sign there. Wow, he's a solid one. There he is, solid carp. We'll give him a measure. That didn't take long. I was in. just baiting both rods up. I didn't even get to throw the other one back in. And we were on. Yeah, you, you got to hold it the right spot there, mate. Yep. 42. 42, you're right. Oh, that one's going to go too. Double whammy. So, so we've had a bite on the... You you know. get that one. No, damn it. Damn it. Got him. Fish on. I'll get the Oh! Can you just get it? Is it a snag? No. No, he's not snagged. But he's heavy. Where is he? Almost like I'm just dragging him. Oh, no, no, now he's realised he's hooked. And he's. 
taking some runs. Oh, he's just another solid one. So that's another carp. Feels similar to the last one. Now he's swimming towards us. He's a big one. Okay, I want to get him up to give him a measure. Just wait. He's a good one. He's hooked in the lip, but... a bit. Okay Jet, don't fall in mate. Good boy. <laughs> well, yeah. That's a good size one. Yeah, that's gonna massive. might Best that one might go on the brag mat. Try and beat our PB. Oh. Another bite while we're trying to measure the last one. It's all happening. I need to get the other one back in the water. Straight away. <laughs> Just got a bite there straight away, Jet. And I'm, I'm on both rods. Well, this gets tricky. What's happening? Yeah. Oh, big fish on. You want to go this time, Jet? He's hooked well. Grab him out. I'll get the net. Try and keep him away from the other rod again. Wind him in. Wind him in. Yeah, you got. Yeah, he's on. He's swimming away. Now he's swimming towards you. I think. There he is. He pulled her hard for a smaller one. He swallowed it. He's another fat one. Good one, Jet. One. That was 53 Kilos. centimetres long. Jet's got another fish on. Don't, don't go that way, don't go that way, mate. Stay this side. Yep, that's it. Good boy. Another Smaller one. one. Good well on, Jet. Put the camera down and Jet catches that one on his own. Well done. So we're just going to go check the Abbey nets. It's been in for a while because we've been busy catching catching fish. Do you want to pull it in, Jet? Yeah, pull it up. We've got a cup. Oh. A couple of shrimp there, that might use them as bait. Can I get this big one? Yep. Well, this little like, type one. Ooh. How many is there? Three. Oh, well, that's handy. Three shrimp, shrimp that we use for bait. Ah. Yep, he will nip you. Chucking back in. Neat little bucket. So when you want to get a shrimp out, you can open the lid. Oh no! <laughs> what do you got, mate? 
Come on, Dibby. No. Yeah, come on, Dibby. Come on, Dibby. Yeah. Missed him. Dropped him. He got away. That's all right. We'll bait him up again. Yeah. So after we just lost that fish, we've got now I've got a shrimp on the right hand side and a combo. Shrimp. A little shrimp. <laughs> Snipping me. And a worm and corn combo on the left hand side. Okay. This is on the shrimp. So we. This is on the shrimp one, so it might be a callop. Bit of a different feel to it. Get a look on it there. You didn't tell it, I think. No? No, it's a carp. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll net him, mate. Yeah. Okay. Definitely a carp. Took your Another carp took our shrimp. But we've caught seven fish in total, six carps, and a silver perch, which is pretty cool. Just getting some bites on the right on the left there with the worms and the corn. Rebaited the other rod with another shrimp. The bigger shrimp. Try and increase our chances of catching a callop. Let's see if that speed boat stirs the water up and brings a bite on. Sometimes yep. that can happen. Come back. Gets on. Oh. Get off, did he? Yeah. That's all right. Wind him in, mate. We'll rebait him up. Just checking the yabby net slash shrimp net. Just a second time. On. Oh yeah. Get one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> There was one just sitting on this. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's just sitting on there. I just went to check the bait. And he was just sitting there. It was very strange. Tiny one. Let's see if we caught any yabbies this time. Not just shrimps, because we've caught four shrimps. This thing, we've got the bucket here. And then we've got the rope. Gonna pull it up. Oh, we got some. We have indeed got some. I'm gonna get some out. My dad just got a bite, but he just missed it. But let's get these yabbies. Okay. One just fell through the yabby net. And he's about to get in. That ain't happening today, boy. Open it up, put it in. I'm going to get this one. As you can see, 
put it in. Whoops, dropped them. Put it in. Now there should be one more. Oh, there it is. He's under the actual cage. My dad just got a fish, as you can see. Oh, he's having a battle. I'm going to go help him. I'm going to chuck this back in. I'm going to get the yabbies. I'm going to go back to him. Still has it on. Better hurry. I'm going to get the net. Okay. Looks like a pretty decent one. I'm going to net him here. Oh, a big boy. Lower the net down. Right? It's a pretty big one. Let's do this. Okay. About 40. That big one is. And then this little one is going to be at 30. We just got a ripper bite. Still on here. I'll get the net. If you just bring the net over. I can. It's just down here. Looks like a decent size one. Oh, leap. Maybe it's just a little one. When you go, honey. You go. Got it. Nice sized one. It's not the biggest one. No, no, no. You're pointing at the ground. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. That's the shrimp one. That one. Yep, getting some bites on the shrimp. He's still there. Oh. Which one was that? Oh, was that the, the worms and corn? Yep. Jet's got a fish on. I'll get the net that Jet's got all tangled up in logs. <laughs> Take up the little bugger. You reckon that was the one that was kept biting? I don't know what if I'm recording or not, mate. Yeah, you're recording. Okay. <laughs> I just turned it off from the last one. Another oh, one. he's getting they're getting smaller. Hopefully. We'll see how he's hooked. No, he's alright. He's only a little one. Another little one. Another tiny one. We've caught 14 fish in total. Um 13 carp and one silver perch. It's a good fishing session. Thank you for watching Hooked on Life by 3. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment on my channel if you have any questions. Be sure to click on the link and follow my Instagram page. I'd love to hear about your adventures, so please share them with me. I would love to hear from you.